can this be done without, because we, this is the only thing we know. The, the way it is now yeah. is the only way it is. It might have been, uh, so to speak, been refined as we've been coming along since independence. But um, can much of this be achieved without fresh legislation? Uh, which would then have to go to the National Assembly. Yeah. Because I'm thinking about uh, uh, things like, uh, you, you've spoken on one or two other aspects, but like the Army, for instance. I spoke about the National Assembly. Yeah. There's, there, there's the whole defense issues. Well, Some things will still have to be kept very close to the chest of the federal government, right? Yeah, thank you very much. You know, what we are saying is not that the federal government should throw everything they are controlling down to the units. What we are saying is that you are reducing what... In an economy, you have the micro, you have the medium, and you have the macro. So you remove the micro and the medium from the schedule of Mr. President so that they will be able to concentrate on the macro. The macro is to now make, see to your incomes, see to your a meaningful foreign relations, okay. see to your forex problems, you know, and now see to a way you can really industrialize, etc. Those are the micros. And now when you, you don't you don't ask for 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 if for 80% of the things you go to get from the presidency, if you don't know, any president of Nigeria takes 70% of his time welcoming the big obas, the big uh, emirs, and all the VIPs, you know, coming to discuss nothing about Nigeria but with them about themselves. So, but once this schedules, when you take it out, the president is still in control, right? Okay. But you take the administration of 80% of these things off him, then he will be able to concentrate and he will achieve more. So this is something that, um, uh, if I understand you well enough, this is something that uh, could be uh, initiated uh, and uh, op operated upon by the uh, president, the incoming president, and his administration. Exactly. If he, if he would need some, he would definitely need some uh, touch of legislative um, uh, something. But then it is not difficult at all, because right now I I would doubt if there is we have anybody in the National Assembly who does not know what I'm talking about. That we are ready. We are, the the present system has failed us. Okay. There is nobody that doesn't know that. You, you, but, Lagos, but, but that is not being admitted publicly. Uh, yeah. Even if the Lagos Ibadan Express with 20 years, you do the, the crossover bridge in Onicha, and that has taken us almost another 20 years. You do anything, it's 30 years. Now, how would you, what would be the cost year one and the cost year 20? But if you are operating state by state, when they are running the project, mm -hmm. they finish it before they go to another one. So definitely, you have better results. Okay. You know. I, 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 I'm happy you said that, that if indeed this is now sort of state, uh, it's still federal, yeah. it's still federal government, but like state uh, situated, yes. uh, uh, then as you say, uh, they will finish one before they go on to the other. Yes. As opposed to what we have right now, where necessarily the federal government has to have uh, quite a few, quite a number of balls in the air at the same time. Exactly. Uh, but you're saying this, will be, this phenomenon will be much reduced yeah. uh, if this idea yes. is uh, taken over. You know, the funny thing really is that you can see the federal government, you just sign board. They come to your state, they want to do something. And what they are doing there is not even needed at all by that community or that state. So when you run state by state, the peculiarities, the needs will be the priorities. And then you will definitely make better results. Now that we're in their need of industrialization, their need of industrialization, you do your, you do ordinary electricity. Mm -hmm. Ghana is running its electricity thing fine. And uh, the Dangote new factory, refinery. When, the refinery, when they started that project, immediately they went for their independent power station. That's what they did it almost as they were starting. So right now they are producing the light they are using. So, a state can do all that thing. And now you will discover that. We are not even saying state now. We say federal in the state. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we are, what I'm trying to say is that for now, there is no known project that all previous administrations try to do, which either the individual or the state or the federal government in the state mm -hmm. or the industrialists in the state or a combination of the four 
plus the possibility of a PLC can, that can, they cannot achieve. So by now, there is nothing. It, it, when they were was, was starting in those days, Amadou Bello, uh, Obafemi Awulowo, Zeke, they were competing heavily. If you start, first to start a university, somebody does the same. First to start a radio station, television, somebody does the same, etc. So you see that time in the West, for instance, the Odua thing was even having printing press, having uh, hotels, having, uh, you know, all these things now, you can't expect government now to say they want to invest in this hotel. Well, the citizens already are able to do that. So we'll be moving forward like that. And that is the only way that Nigerians would be able to face the reality of the day and fight to make their own domain grow. Okay. Um, okay, I wanted to ask you uh, about uh, Forex and uh, GDP and that kind of thing. But um, in the meantime, uh, our first caller has uh, landed. Uh, good morning to you, Mr. George. Good morning, Uncle Yuri, and Thank good you. morning to your guest. Thank you. Good Uncle morning. Yuri, as, as, as a management consultant, I would uh, like to say this in terms of uh, manpower in our civil service. Okay. The, 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 the nature and the standard of unemployment in, in the country it's not advisable to downsize. What we need to do is to ensure productivity. To ensure productivity, look at the leadership so that productivity can arise. Let me give you one classical example. Okay. National Orientation Agency. Everybody is complaining about that agency that they are not working and we are not seeing what they are doing. Yet, Uncle Yori, I'm aware that they have not less than 100 staff in each of the 774 local governments in, in this country. Not less than 100 staff. How many local governments can say that these officials have visited their communities to talk to them about one government policy or the other? Yes, they receive salary. What, that's what I mean that if we want... Um, um, you know, it is the productivity we should check. People that are being paid should be made to work for the pay. But if you downsize in an economy that unemployment rate is already very high, it will not make sense if you send them back to the unemployment market and our industries are not, you know, uh, sufficient to uh, absorb them. But oh. we can absorb the, 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 the wages and cope with where money is lost is in areas of wastages. You want to execute a contract that will have cost you 10 million, you end up spending 10 billion on it. Whereas you can use 1 billion to pay salaries of so many people, yet you waste 8 billion in one small contract. That's, it is those leakages we need to block. Okay. Not okay. Sending people back into the unemployment market. Okay. It's just a, a suggestion. All, all right, then. Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. George, for calling in. Well, you heard that. Yeah. You know. Let me quickly respond. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what you have said is possibly out of what I'm discussing because I didn't even mention about downsizing. If you are talking about productivity, that's exactly what me I'm talking about. And he also spoke yes. about wastage, wastage, wastage yes. reduction. All these things you will not be able to achieve if you don't rearrange your administrative style. There's nobody that will stay in Lagos and know what is happening in Maduguri per second. But somebody who is staying in the state capital, overseeing federal government issues in that particular state, in most cases within four hours, you can drive down to see what is happening. So the federal government will become more effective. That is the productivity you are talking about. And that is why... Because it has local status. It has status. local status. That is why we are saying that. We are not saying federal government should give any of its duties to anybody. We are saying that federal government should change from ministerial line to state line. Okay. So that they can operate better. Mm -hmm. All the ministries and everybody will be in the same ministry. Like you have inter-ministry inter and inter-parastatal... Uh, 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 mingles.